Good evening. Pauline Hanson's Chief of Staff, James Ashby, insists the latest explosive scandal to rock One Nation is the result of a poor choice of words. A secret recording has been released in which Mr Ashby is heard outlining a plan to fleece One Nation candidates ahead of the state election. Tegan George reports. One Nation is in damage control after its power brokers were secretly recorded in a so-called brainstorming session last year that's now been leaked to the public. There's an opportunity for us to make some money on this. If we play this smart... Pauline Hanson and her right-hand man, James Ashby, today forced to defend the explosive recording. I'll deny I ever said this, but what stops us from, from getting a, a, a middleman or gracing, and we can make money out of this. We buy the core fleets of five bucks, we sell them to them for 11. He's put it down to a poor choice of words, denying the party considered ripping off its own candidates by selling them campaign merchandise at inflated prices and then submitting the invoices to the Electoral Commission. The simple fact is political parties are not non-for-profit organisations. For longevity, we must ensure that we have the funds available to be able to keep this party running. I think it's a sackable offence. But nobody in that meeting said, you've got to be joking. Labor is calling for the Federal and Queensland Police to investigate, as well as the Electoral Commission. What seems to be being suggested here is that uh, One Nation is trying to milk the system by seeking taxpayer reimbursement for money they haven't even spent. That's wrong. It is fundamental to our democracy that our electoral laws are complied with. But Ms Hansen says no one in the meeting agreed to put the plan in place. It can only be a criminal case if it was actually enacted and it's never been enacted. Candidates pay up to $3,500 for a promotional pack, the banners done up by Mr Ashby's own printing business. But One Nation says its costs are minimal compared to what other parties charge. But I reckon it's absolute fake news. What they are saying is is bordering on our breaches of the Electoral Act. And the Queensland opposition agrees. I think it has to be investigated. Um, I think these are serious allegations. One Nation is trying to write it off as a witch hunt and says the major parties are just scared and gearing up for what it predicts will be one of the dirtiest election campaigns in decades. The only thing I haven't heard yet lately is that I've become an armed smuggler. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.